Welcome and thanks for joining us to today's video devotion. Our devotion today is on 1 Corinthians chapter 10 for Trinity 9. Now these things took place as examples for us that we might not desire evil as they did. Do not be idolaters as some of them were, as it is written. The people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. We must not indulge in sexual immorality as some of them did. And 23,000 fell in a single day. We must not put Christ to the test as some of them did and were destroyed by serpents, nor grumble as some of them did and were destroyed by the destroyer. Now these things happened to them as an example, but they were written down for our instruction, on whom the end of the ages has come. Therefore, let anyone who thinks that he stands take heed, lest he fall. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our reading starts out with these things that took place. What are these things? Paul shows us just before this that the people of God were delivered out of death. We learn this in scripture. Delivered out of death, redeemed in a baptism of the Red Sea. Not only were they saved, they were fed. Food for the body and food for the, from the spirit for their souls. Saved completely and wholly from death and given life. Christ the rock had nourished them. And they still misbehaved. They idled other gods, particularly food and drink and sexual immorality. They were putting Christ to the test. So also do we. This is a warning for all Christians. We Christians know that we are forgiven. God has saved our life by sending his son into death so that we may be redeemed just like the people of old, so that we might live forever. Live forever. So, nothing to worry about then, right? Now you can stand on your own two feet. Make your own decisions. Gorge yourself with the food and drink of this world. Gorge yourself with adultery, Stealing, lying, slandering, murdering, coveting. Because, hey, it's okay. As Satan will tell you, it's just this once. You're going to be forgiven anyway. You can get away with it this time. The good news is that Christ has defeated Satan. Certainly and surely forever. Satan, though, in, in this life on earth, is permitted to tempt you. Satan does the tempting, not God. And there is good news, more good news. God is faithful to you. He will not let Satan tempt you beyond your ability to escape. He's also going to provide you the way to escape so that you may be able to endure it. Put Christ to the test, though, and try to take this stand on your own, and you will fall. Dear friends in Christ, you have been set, set free by Christ, a free gift, if you take this free gift of his body and blood for you for granted even once, there could come a day that you will reject the gospel. 
having given in to temptation. But there is no temptation so great that, is not, that it has not been experienced by others. And there is no temptation so great that God does not give you the ability to overcome. And there is nothing to grumble about since God, since God gives you all you need, body and soul, through his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray now the litany, Lutheran service book, page 288. Page 288. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, hear, hear us. us. God the Father in heaven, have, have mercy. mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have, have mercy. mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare, Spare us, us, good Lord. Lord. Be gracious to us. Help, Help us, us, good Lord, Lord, from all sin, from all error, from all evil, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, from sudden and evil death, from pestilence and famine, from war and bloodshed, from sedition and from rebellion, from lightning and tempest, from all calamity by fire and water, and from everlasting death, good, good Lord, Lord, deliver Lord. us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, help, help us, good, good Lord. Lord in all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment. Help us, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you to hear us, O Lord, to rule and govern your holy Christian church, to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense, to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word with your grace and spirit, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to raise those who fall and to strengthen those who stand, and to comfort and help the weak-hearted and the distressed. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to give to all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, to protect and guide all who travel, to grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness in their blessings, to defend all orphans and widows and provide for them, to strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children, to free those in bondage, and to have mercy on us all. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to forgive our enemies, persecutors and slanderers and to tur turn their hearts to give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth and graciously to hear our prayers we implore you to hear us good lord lord jesus christ son of god we implore you to hear us christ the lamb of god who takes away the sin of the world have mercy christ the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy. Christ, 
the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Grant, Grant us your, your peace. peace. O Christ, hear, hear us. us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God, in this earthly life we endure sufferings and death before we enter into eternal glory. Grant us grace at all times to subject ourselves to your holy will and to continue steadfast in the true faith to the end of our lives, that we may know the peace and joy of the blessed hope of the resurrection of the dead and of the glory of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.